Hi, my name is Patricia. I'm an artist and I'm going to show you how to draw a cat in 3D. Now when you're drawing a cat in 3D, first you can start with the body if you'd like. Normally I start with the faces, but um, I feel like with the cat in 3D, it's kind of the whole body that's really the most important, so you get that 3D effect. Here we've got the face, I'm going to do the nose and the mouth, the cheekies. Okay, bear with me. Now we have the body. Now keep your lines loose when you're doing anything in 3D because you really you want it to be loose and not tight so you get a rounded effect to know that what you're drawing is three-dimensional and alive. All right, so you can add hair in here. Now notice how my lines are rounded. I'm rounding them to give them dimension. If it's just a straight line, it's going to feel flat. So when you're doing your 3D, um, whatever you're drawing 3D, just make sure that you get the nice rounded lines. That's the most important. Here, you know, if you put stripes on the cat, that's going to also give you more of a 3D effect. But here, I'm just rounding off my lines. Oop. It's a different color here. So you can see. There we go. You can add hair if you'd like. Again, it's these rounded lines that are really going to get you the 3D element and bring life to your animal. And you can add, as I said, fur if you'd like. And then for the face. Again, lines are going to get you the 3D feel. Here we've got the eyes. And then I'm going to go back to green because this white is not doing it for me here. There we go. Some whiskers. Again, keep your lines loose. I have some messy lines on this cat. Poor guy. And here, again, we're going to add fur. And if you want to get, you know, the 3D, let's add in these curved lines. Stripes. Some dots. Oh, and I forgot the back leg. Again, it's shorter because it's farther away. But there you go. You notice with all these lines, the curved lines, you have the 3D feel. All right, enjoy. Mm -hmm.